Good afternoon. All right, we're back in the park today. I'm actually in the uh, south end of the park where um, I haven't been hunting very much um, in quite a while. Um, I used to hunt this area uh, 30 years ago and uh, as technology got better and detectors got better I was able to pull out a lot of silver from this area but uh, in the last few years I've been working on the uh, north end of the, the park up where the uh, little pond used to be at back in the uh, 1880s through 1926 when the city took over the park and uh, rerouted the creek and uh, filled in the, the pond. But I thought I'd come out here today with uh, my new Mine Lab CTX 3030 and uh, give it a shot, see what we can find. And uh, to be honest with you, I've dug some zinc pennies, um, some pull tabs, some uh, pieces of metal, uh, can slaw. Uh, but I really haven't had too many really good targets to work on until just now. Um, I got this target. Coming in at 1243, which is which is in the uh, dime range, but it's in the six to seven inch range here. If you look and see, twelve forty one at seven inches. Fourteen thirty seven. I'm going to try to turn off the auto here, audio so you can hear what's going on. Let me see if I can. All right. I'll just shut down the uh, shut down my headphones. Let's see if we can get this to go. Turn it off. I'm gonna turn it back on without the headphones. There we go. All right. Might as well go back through and show you what program I have it in. Currently, I have it in the uh, Deep Coins program, and uh, we're gonna go from there. So. See where it was at. There we go. Twelve forty one. All right, we got the plug dug. Got a little bit of the dirt out of there. Let's see what we got. Let's turn on the pin pointer. See what we got right there. Not sure if it's loose or what. Yeah, that's it right there. Thought I saw something a little bent up. Yep, it's an old copper coin, memorial penny. Well, that's probably why it was giving me some erratic readings. Looks like it's uh, been chopped up by a, a lawnmower. Well, we'll put it in there. We'll hammer. Okay, we got the plug dug. And uh, we're down about, oh, let's see. Down about seven inches. Uh, pinpoint said six inches, so we should be right on top of it. 
Let's turn on the pin pointer and see what we get here. Nothing here. It's a greenie. It's a greenie. I hate messing with it, but unbelievably the Ground's pretty. Ground is pretty soft, pretty moist. Still, we're in the shade, so I'm trying to see what we got here. Let's see if it's a memorial or if it's a. Well, I hate to do this, but. It is old. Yeah, I think it's a weedy. I don't see any. I don't see any markings of a memorial on it. But then, what do I know? Here's Lincoln's head. The only reason why I'm doing this is just to be able to show you guys what we got. Try to give you an answer as to what it is. I'm going to put that in the good pile. See what it is. I can't really tell. Let me try to clean it up. I'll be right back. Okay. I have determined that it is indeed a wheat penny. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. see that or not. It does say one cent right there. That's been in the ground for a while. I love it. I love it. Love pulling out those green, those greenies, those old wheat pennies. Who knows how long that thing's been in the ground. That's what the, that's what the thrill of the, the hobby is right there. Being able to find something after finding a whole bunch of zinc and clad and then bam there it is at five inches six inches and pull out a, a old old wheat penny that you can't even read the date on so we're going to keep on going i'll let you know if we find something else hopefully where there's wheat pennies there's silver that's what we're looking for talk to you soon